And that was some time ago we ran a heater hose from the motor, a regular heater hose, yeah. and wound it around the bottle. Okay. And it came back to return at the motor. So the hotter that motor got, the higher the pressure in the nitrous. Because we heated the bottle up. Oh, so that <laughs> to, to cool it, that's the same. To cool it then, cool it would as soon as you cool something, nitrous oxide, the pressure goes right down. Okay. That's why you almost have to freeze the bottle to fill it. Okay. If you put it with ice, you can take a 10, 10 pound bottle, you know, and put ice in it, you can get 10, you can get 12, 13 pounds of nitrous in it. Okay, and then you close the valve and it warms up and the pressure builds. Yeah, it builds up, yeah. Take a tank, a settling tank, and sometimes you don't have enough, can't get the job done, you heat it with a torch. No kidding. Heat the tank with the torch and the pressure will go up and you can finish your job. You got a little welding to do or a little cut. Yeah, just you need a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. So, and then same, then even I think um, somebody, I don't know who it was, it was kind of foolish and we laughed about that, is they sold you a stainless steel box you put in the trunk and fill it full of ice for your nitrous bottle. It's like, that's uh, opposite. That didn't last. I think that nitrous, that little box for sale yeah. uh, lasted about a week or so, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. They wanted to freeze the bottle and lower the, I don't know what they were doing, but they didn't know what they were doing.